Okay, so this is the code from the last video. We have seen what it does. All this does is we change the value of our variable by calling a function. However, we have to make a separate pointer to do so. And there's a better way to do it. But I'm not going to go over that right now. Because I want to cover just a couple things on pointers. There's a lot to cover on pointers, but I only want to cover a couple things. And then we'll come back and hit hit pointers hard um, after I go over a couple classes and, and references. Alright, so let's get started. So we've seen this here. We changed the value of our variable to 7.3, and I actually named my function 7.3. Alright, but what I want to do, I want to get rid of all my pointers here. I'm going to change all the code here, so watch carefully. And just simplify this a little bit. I'm going to go back to where it does nothing. So right now, I make a, if I run this here, nothing, vis vis um, nothing visible happens. We don't see anything visually. But that's not what I wanted to show you. I'm going to make a new pointer again. So I'm going to say double. So it can only store memory addresses of the type double. I'm going to call it PTR this time. So first I uh, initialize it here. Or I'm going to say, I'm gonna, no, I declare it. And now I'm going to give it a value. I'm going to say PTR equals the memory address of X. Okay. There it is. PTR is equal to the memory address of X. But, and we know that we can change the value of the pointer by using the dereferencing here. And I could do stuff like this. So there's two different values here. So remember, this is um, changing them. I'm changing uh, what it's pointing to here because remember I'm not using the dereferencing operator this this right here changes the contents now we've already seen this but what I want to show you is that we can do just like we we've done here right here we declared a variable and gave it a value all in one step what I'm going to do here I want to declare and initialize this all in one step. Now this might get confusing because look, it looks like I'm using the dereferencing operator and I set it equal to a memory address. Well, I'm not doing that. This is when I first declare a variable here. I have to use this asterisk here. No, I'm not actually changing the value of x here. i got to give it an initial value, an initial memory address of x here. This is one way to do so. So immediately when this is uh, being created here, I give it an initial value. And it is the memory address of x. Now afterward, I can use the dereferencing operator as x. Now when, now when we um, declare pointers, so keep in mind, this, is, this can be confusing, even though we're using a dereferencing operator we're not actually dereferencing it because this is being declared. We're declaring this variable here. We can use this notation. Now it's a good idea to initialize it to something. When we first declare a variable or a pointer and we don't initialize it to anything, it's a good idea to initialize it to something. In this case, null is a valid keyword. Or it's not a keyword, it's a valid word that we can set our pointer equal to when we first declare if we don't want to. Now this pointer is dead anyway when you first declare a pointer it has some kind of default memory address that is pointing to something that we don't know what it is or we don't know where it is but we don't have control over it now you don't have to set it equal to null I, I normally don't but you should because to me it, the pointer is dead anyway when you first declare a pointer it is dead it's going to be considered a dead pointer now, when we set it equal to an, uh, a memory address, we actually have control of this variable. It's within our scope because we are the ones that actually created it. Uh, 
So that's this is one way we can declare and assign declare and initialize a variable all in one step. Now, the other thing I want to do, I want to show you an a possible issue that can go up. I want to make a pointer function. So I can make a function of the type double, but it also has to return a double type. For instance, I can return 20.12 or 20.2. This is a valid. This is a valid. Um. Oh wait. Whoa. I got to type in return. I can return any type double here. And this is legal. I can also return any. In this case, temp is a double type. I can return any double type value. Well, if I want to make a pointer function, I'm going to put an asterisk here, as I have here when I first declared my variable. Now, since I've done so, I have to return a the memory address of a double type variable. In this case, I can return a memory address here, because pointers store memory addresses. And this is now a valid pointer function. So for instance, I'm going to show you a possible error that could go wrong here. I want my temp. I want to make a double here. I want the pointer. Notice I'm not using the dereferencing operator because I'm not changing the contents of x. I'm changing what it's pointing to. So for instance here, I'm going to output the pointer. And then, after I call this function, I'm going to show you that the, the pointer's changed. And I want to delete this one here. So look, these are two different memory addresses here. Now, these, do you see a problem? The problem is, after I call this function, I have a new memory address. But this, the, the memory address that this is pointing to is now destroyed. Which means if I try to change the contents of the temp variable here, you may have noticed that this variable does not exist anymore because it's been destroyed by the destructor. So I have my pointer is pointing to something that no longer exists, which can be a major problem in your program. And if your program changes the value of something that does not exist, your program is practically doomed. And we will not know that when our program is running. So one day our, we might have a huge program that's running fine, and somehow the pointer points to something that doesn't exist when we change the value of it. We may not know right away. And it's going to be a hard bug to find. But I can actually... We can actually output the value here. But there's still an issue here because this variable we, we we don't have permission to use this and it can cause a couple problems. But right now if you look at my program it looks like it's just running fine because I have a variable that I don't have permission to use. Luckily it's not hopefully it's not being used by something else but it looks like everything's running just fine. But there could be some issues here because that particular variable is not reserved for me to use because something else could be using it. Something else in this program could be using it. But keep in mind, no other program that's running in the back or running or running right away will use any of these variables here. You will not permanently damage any of your components. You won't you won't just you won't hurt your memory when you when you do stuff like this. But it's just going to terminate this particular this particular program that I'm running here will be in trouble if I do this. But there will be no permanent damage done to your computer when you do this. It's just, it's just your program. Your program is doomed. If I just continue on writing the rest of the code or running my program here, there's going to be quite a few issues. Let me see what my time is at. I've got nine minutes. So that's a couple issues that I wanted to go over and I also wanted to, to go over more on Oh, there, there's a lot more to go on pointers when we start covering the new and delete keywords. But we're not going to go over those yet. Just be careful when you use pointers. And then next, I want to show you the references. References are going to keep things much easier on us.
So that's the end of this video.